Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Philanthropone, and I'm back with another brand new VR game here called The Book of Distance, which is a game, a story driven game, I think, about a guy from Japan who moves to Canada. I don't know too much about it, so let's check it out right now. This looks very nice. Uh oh, it shows the OG controllers. It's a little concerning. This is like moss. Turn the page to start. The room has changed. Look at this. To you, the time traveler, this is a love letter to the future. I wrote this for the hearts ahead of us, for the ones growing and wishing, among them my nephew who carries the name of my grandfather, Yonezo Akita. Well, look at that. Pop out pictures, okay. Oh, nice, you can interact. Young grandpa. Those images are of my grandfather, Yonezo. I'm the kid in that one. Cool, okay, so the grandson, it looks like, is telling the story. So, you can throw that over to your left. <laughs> okay, uh... I made it in the light! You have to look where you're throwing. Keep your eyes forward and follow through with your hand like this. He missed, but he hit it. Okay. Thanks for being here. This is a place I made as a way of thinking about my grandfather, my family, and our stories. This is my dad. When I spoke to him, he said this. Well, you knew Grandpa like he, he was, he, he was so present by his lack of presence. <laughs> It's true. My grandfather was the quietest man I've ever known. He never spoke about his past or his life in Japan before he came to Canada. And he never spoke Japanese to me. I was young, but it almost felt like being Japanese was something to be kept quiet. He was 18 when he came to Canada. Of course, when I think about going to Japan, I think about taking an airplane. Father left home as a boy. It was 1935 and he traveled by ship. It would have taken weeks. Randy, I, I, I think that he was 15. No, he was 18 when he came here. No, no, like he was 15. It was the 1930s. What did a house in Hiroshima look like? Like this? I know he had siblings, brothers, and a sister named Humiko. Nice. He was introduced to a Japanese family in Canada, and he wrote them. I wonder how he felt exchanging letters with people so far away, in a place he could only imagine. <laughs> this is crazy. Eventually, from across the ocean, he received an invitation to start a new life. What did they learn about each other? My grandmother, born in British Columbia, was the eldest in a family of girls. What do you take with you when you leave on an adventure? Passport. 
How did it feel to leave the only home he knew for a place he could only imagine? I mean, this game is polished. Experience, I don't know if I should call it a game even. It was different to leave home in those days. Did they even know if they would meet again? What did they say to each other as he left? What did he hope for, this young man? What did he think his future would look like? It would have been in a place not so far from here. I wonder what it looked like the moment they first saw each other. Careful, just take a step back. This place is an act of imagination. It's an idea. Do all places start like this? Customs made it. Oh,